What's up guys? So, as you can see, it's six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning, you know where your diag is. Got a pretty cool one, check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so as you can see, it's pretty much the crack of dawn and uh, I'm already knee deep in this Diag and I wanted to show you guys this uh, Snap-on Smart Smoke Machine, one of the features this in action. I'm, uh, I got some EVAP codes, the codes I got on this one are the PO440, means there's an EVAP system fault, and then I got a 0452 EVAP pressure sensor signal low short so uh ran into this code a few times different ways to go about it obviously i got in the trunk easy access you know i check check your signal check your ground check your reference and all that stuff i'll show you guys i got that. i'm at that part right now but just broke out the smoke machine show you guys a quick way to check this pressure sensor i definitely suspect of it as far as what the scanner says so check it out so luckily on these caddies they got the quick access to the top of the fuel tank but checking that pressure sensor power and ground you could see I got them back probed I'm sitting at about five volts so I know I got a good ground know I got a good five volt reference now from here you know we could move on to the signal wire hook it up to the scope test drive it let it run check our pressures and all that stuff. I'll show you guys the data that I got pulled up on the PIDs on the Varus, but I wanna show you where this, uh, one of the reasons why this smoke machine shines. I'll show you how I got it set up and what I got going on from here. So here's our reading in inches of water column. I'm gonna graph that. We'll just put it on there. It's at uh, 0.44. The, our max was seven probably when we were testing it so you can see it does range out there so we'll get this thing set up and then I got the smoke machine pretty much all set up the service port in the corner here got the Schrader valve out I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the business end into the service port all right got everything hooked up on this shop air Got the vapor thing put on there. We go back one here real quick. We're gonna to go to function test. We're gonna to go to output controls and we're gonna shut the vent solenoid. I know that's good, I tested that this morning. I tested the purge valve this morning. I know those are working. We'll go ahead and seal it off. Listen for a click, I heard it. Turn this thing on. Let it start building up. And we're looking at the fuel tank pressure sensor here. You can see as it's, it's building up, I got no change on here. So as you can see, as it's building up, you know, smoke machine's filling up with smoke, checking for leak. We're almost at 20 thousandths there, so it's gonna pass. It'll hit pass here in a sec. Boom, and we got no change here. At 0 .33, 0 .34, 54, pretty much just bouncing back and forth. So we know that pressure sensor is no good. It's not, or the signal wire is no good. But I got a quick way of testing that. Just wanted to show you guys here the pressure side of it. And then we can also test, we can check the vacuum side of it. Hook this up. It's letting the pressure out. You can see it's reading pressure in inches of water column. Go back down. We still got no change on the scanner. And then we're gonna give it a quick vacuum test. Let me get you guys set up to see all this. It's no glare. 
be pretty good. So testing the vacuum on it, you pretty much hook it up to the secondary vapor connection. Just plug in my little pump here. And then as soon as it senses vacuum, it's going to switch over and give us vacuum. So we're sealed off. So we're definitely changing here, and I got no change on the scanner. So it's not holding vacuum either. So there you have it. All right, guys. So just a couple quick tests on that smoke machine. You guys can see that the Varus, you know, measured in, in inches of water should at least range the same. When the tank is getting pressure, I should see it on the scanner, just like I see it on the smoke machine with that little digital gauge. You know, uh, not to say if they should match, but they definitely should range. When you've got pressure going to the gas tank, you should see pressure on the scanner. When you've got vacuum going to the gas tank, you should see vacuum on the scanner. So obviously that fuel tank pressure sensor ain't working. I'm going to go ahead and get one order, get it down here, and we're going to do a quick retest. Show you guys what I'm talking about. So I got the new one in, AC Delco, part number, faded, got it set up. So before we even uh, do anything, obviously we'll want to seal off the vent valve. So I heard it click. And real quick, before we even turn the smoke machine on, we can test vacuum here. See, right away you can see we're getting a better reading on the scanner. I'll show you guys a close-up of that in a second. But definitely, definitely picking up a range. That sensor is definitely reading on the scanner now. But we'll go ahead and... Let this thing start pressuring up, fill up with smoke, and right away you can see this thing jumping up. It's measuring in inches of agua, and you can see as we get up here, maxed out, you can see we're pretty much almost as high as that, that tank is going gonna, is gonna to read. So you can see here, pretty much as much as that pressure sensor reads, we're already pretty much spiked up, we're already maxed out. And then you can see on here, it's showing 11, so it's pushing back. Obviously more pressure is gonna be coming from the machine side of it than by the tank. Quick and easy way to check your pressure sensor, to kind of co-witness the readings you're getting from the scanner to the readings you're getting on the digital gauge here. Yes, they're not perfectly accurate, but like I said, there's gonna be more pressure up front where the hose is than in the back by the tank. But you can clearly see we got a range. We'll go ahead and turn this thing off. We'll vent it. And we can see it drop. As pressure releases, you can see it pretty much drops to normal pressure. So, pretty cool stuff. Smoke machine, snap on smoke machine makes quick work of testing, uh, you know, not only for leaks. I wasn't ever su suspect of leaks on this, but also testing the fuel tank pressure sensor making quick work of it. And then while you're at it, you can test for leaks too. All right guys, so I got this one wrapped up, cleaned up, but just a quick one how, you know, the Snap-on Smart Smoke works with the scanner. Obviously this one was pretty self-explanatory, but there was multiple ways of testing that sensor. This is one of them with the smoke machine. You know, obviously like I said in the beginning of the video, I could have scoped it. We could have just went on a test drive. We did have a PID for it, so we could have just, you know, checked it out on the graft and all that stuff as we test drove it. I was really suspect of it. Once I saw the code and saw I had no grafting on it, I was suspect of that fuel tank pressure sensor. I know these are kind of common on that, but as you're doing it, you're doing multiple tests in one. You know, if you do end up with a small evap leak and do have a bad fuel tank pressure sensor, while you're hooking up, check in, you know, co-witnessing the signals on the, coming off the digital gauge and on the scanner, if you're getting a signal at all, you could also check for small evap leaks. You'll be checking the vent valve, make sure that's working. You can check the purge valve through the various, make sure that's working. And you're getting, you're getting the readings out on the smoke machine, but great little smoke machine. Made quick work of this thing, especially being super early in the morning, you know, being knee deep in it super early in the morning. Definitely got a confirmed fix. Moving on to the next one. So, but I'll be showing you guys a lot of the other features with this thing as far as the UV dye goes when we get these small leaks. You guys know, of course, I like doing these, you know, real world di diagnosis, not these uh, staged ones. So I got to wait for the car to actually get here, set up the camera work, all that stuff. But stay tuned for that. We'll be doing some great more ones, showing you guys how at least I use this smoke machine. But 
Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.